Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Keith One Time Thurman explains vacating his WBC belt. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, you better not duck me, Thun. Keith one time Thurman, it was announced yesterday. I did a video about it. Keith Thurman was vacating his WBC title. He was, at as of right before yesterday, the only welterweight champion with more than one strap. You got Jeff Horn, WBO champion, getting ready to face Terrence Crawford. I think Jeff Horn loses that fight, but we'll see. You have Errol the Truth Spence. He's the IBF champion. And then Keith Thurman had the WBC and the WBA. And then they gave Lucas Matisse some version of the WBA. And he's about to fight Pacquiao. Keith Thurman says on his verified social media, Due to my rehabilitation from my injuries, I agreed to relinquish my WBC title at this time. I continue to rehab my hand and elbow, and I look forward to getting back in the ring this summer. This is a temporary setback, and I will be the unified champion once again and look forward to winning back my WBC title as soon as possible. Hashtag one time. Now, doesn't really give too much insight and it reminds me of the movie Friday when when Ezel he fell on the on the convenience store floor and he was like ah my neck ah my back and he was like man what is it your neck or your back he's like my neck and my back because what is Keith Thurman talking about he says in this he says he agreed to relinquish his title and continue to rehab his hand and elbow so we knew about the elbow but to me and I could be mistaken, but I don't ever remember him revealing a hand injury. Yes, they said he was not going to be able to um, participate on the split site, the, the May fight, return fight. They never announced who he was going to fight. And it was supposed to happen on a split site event on Showtime the same night as Badu Jack versus Donna Stevenson, who just had a press conference in Canada. So I, I'm assuming maybe this is a hand injury. And this is part of the problem amongst fans is because you, you ever heard the saying the people's champ that's why you guys call me the people's champ on the channel because I try to engage and interact do lives different things with the fans for my community and the, the saying the people's champ like guys like Muhammad Ali is because he really got out there with the people he spoke he updated them like he explained why he didn't want to go to the military draft some people said he was dodging the draft he was a coward he explained he's like the Viet Cong, they never call me nigga you know <laughs> and muhammad ali would he would speak to the people keith thurman has been very zen like and he, he's almost been a recluse as of late and the thing is he wasn't always like that yes he does go to some fights and then you'll see him but then you won't see him again for a minute. Like, it's it just, he's, he's disappearing from the public eye. He was at the Danny Garcia, Brandon Rios fight. I think that was in February. And then no one's really heard much of him since that point. You know what I mean? And there's been some great fights. I was at Broner Vargas, didn't see him there. I was at Jared Swift Heard at Islandi Lada, didn't see him there. And some of these fights are kind of in his mix. And, and you know, I know PBC, Showtime will comp him the tickets and, you know, I mean, probably take care of his airfare, something like that. But he, he's just been ghost. And then when we do hear from him, he's injured. So um, I wish him a speedy recovery. Recovery, I just know it's not that great of a look based on how the fans are and the comments that I'm seeing. But I will give Keith Thurman credit for at least he's not holding anybody up. Like there's other people like the Anthony Joshua situation. If he can't, if Wilder can't get the fight with Joshua, then that kind of holds up the the chance at, at the rest of the titles in the division. You know what I mean? But Keith Thurman, he didn't didn't seem like he wanted to fight Errol Spence anytime soon. So at least, at the very least, I guess he just came out and said it. Not gonna happen, baby. You're not gonna see it. 2018, not gonna happen. He just told you that. 
You know what I mean? And now, out of nowhere, he, he relinquished his belt and said, hey, I'm injured still. You're not going to see me with two straps. So, before he says, Keith one-time Thurman became two-time, so I guess now he's been reduced back to one time. But this time, there's a lot of times right there. But this time, by his own doing, he, he gave up his title. I don't know what conversations were had. I don't know what the WBC said to him or if he just decided to do this. Again, it's, it's very cryptic. Um, no one really knows. It's Jesse Vargas, I interviewed him before the Broner fight. And I asked him about Keith Thurman. And he says, yeah, he's like, he's been on recess since Danny Garcia. He's a champion recess. He says, so if you don't want to fight nobody and you don't want to take the tough fights, then just relinquish your title and let the guys who do want to add him. And that's literally what Keith one time Thurman did. So I don't know if you've seen the interview I did with uh, Jesse Vargas, but he literally did that. Now he's still a WBA champion, the WBA super champion, but I just don't understand this motion. But again, I'm not in his team, in his camp. I don't understand the advice, but maybe they have a, a distinct reason. I just know the WBC is the beloved strap. Everybody likes the green strap. When Canelo vacated his strap and let Golovkin just have it, and now Thurman probably letting Danny Garcia and Sean Porter fight for it. It doesn't look good. You know what I mean? There's not many ways you could spin it. And again, to my knowledge, I hadn't seen anything from the WBC, at least publicly, where they said, hey, Keith, if you don't fight by June, we're going to strip you. And then he just decided, hey, you know what? I'm about to get stripped. I'll just relinquish the title because I'm still injured. And again, it would help Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman needs to... Get a pub, hire a publicist, a PR person. You know what I mean? And if he has one, then I don't understand why they would advise him to do like this. Because, like I said, if, if you at least let the fans know what's going on, like, you know what I mean? Just, uh, you can get a, a cheap videographer and do a video. Show face. Don't just type this out. You know what I'm saying? Explain what happened. What's with your injury? People will respect that probably a bit more. Because, it's a, it's a little bit closer to face-to-face, -to -face, you know what I mean, if you just did a quick video. It doesn't even have to be anything fancy. You can get on your iPhone, film a video, be like, yeah, I'm Keith one-time Thurman. And listen, I was a two-time champion, and after careful consideration, you better not duck me, Thun. I'm getting rid of the WBC type. You know what I mean? Explain to the people. So that's ego stepping in, doing something above and beyond. That's my PR advice. You know what I mean? Do a video. You know what I mean? At least people could understand, see in your eyes, see the passion, see where your head's at. Because right now, Keith Thurman's kind of lost in space. Really good fighter, but people don't know where his head's at. Like, you're married, or you, you know what I mean? You're just trying to do dishes and, and chill and create a family, or you still want to box. You know what I mean? Just the motions and, and what's transpired has people questioning. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment. And subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.